Hey everyone, so I've had a few people request that I do an apartment tour and since I cannot leave my apartment due to a mandatory two week quarantine and also because my college videos do pretty well view wise, in today's video I am going to be giving you a tour of my on campus apartment. Now I'm going to preface this by saying this place is not as decorated as it should be. As I mentioned in my last video, my school told us that we weren't really supposed to bring much so I didn't really bring much. But yeah, without further ado, here is the on campus apartment tour. All right, hey everyone everybody and welcome to the Eric Moran Films on campus apartment tour. So this is what you are met with when you enter my apartment. The first thing I want to show you is my doorknob. I know, very interesting. Now on my doorknob I always have a mask and I also have my lanyard which has my key and my ID card. The reason why I put this on my doorknob is because I absolutely need these things and if I put them here it's like impossible for me to forget it but I'm sure I'll forget it anyway. Now over here we have a trash bag that has my name on it, but this trash bag was actually meant to help me like bring stuff to college and I decided to use it as like an actual trash bag. So, so far it's like pretty filled up. Now this just isn't a place to store my trash. As you can see, we also have a closet. That's really loud. So as you can see, I have an absurd amount of hangers and I don't even need like half of them. I only have like three things hung up here. My school gave us three boxes worth of food for our mandatory two week quarantine and I haven't broken down these boxes yet. So they're kind of just hanging out here and I'm too lazy to bring them to the trash room. Also, I just realized like the inside of the closet looks like this. I don't know if it's supposed to look like that but there you go. So now we're gonna make our way into the bathroom. So here we have the bathroom and it has like this walkway to get into the bathroom. I've never like seen that before. Like I have a, a whole walkway, which is pretty cool. To show you how big this walkway is, I'm like seven feet tall, by the way. I'm gonna lie down and, and like show you how long this is. I'm about as tall as this walkway. So it's like about seven feet. Now, if you thought I only had one closet, you're mistaken because I actually have two. Ta-da! This one really isn't that interesting. I don't have that much stuff in here because this apartment is meant for two people. So ideally this would be one person's closet and then over here would be the other person's closet. But due to COVID, I'm the only one here. So I don't really know what to do with all this space other than just put my suitcase here. And now we are going to make our way into the bathroom. Honestly, this is like a pretty cool setup. This is probably the best bathroom I've ever had at one of like my college places. Now, if you direct your attention towards the shower, this is like the first tub I've ever had. Typically in the other places I've lived on campus, they have like these kind of flat things so you can't really like take a bath in them. But here, this is bath friendly, except it doesn't have one of those things that like stops the water. So um, I, I actually can't take a bath. But as you can see, pretty nice shower. I will say the other day I took a shower and I accidentally like put the thingy all the way to like the really hot side and it was really burning. But other than that, a uh, pretty good shower so far. Now I didn't do this to the walls. This was here before I got here. So if you're my school and you're watching this, I, I didn't do this. Th this was like this. Look at this. This I think is awesome. Isn't that cool? Now I think the best thing about having my own bathroom is that I can kind of keep it messy. But now that I'm thinking about it, even when I had roommates, I still made the bathroom messy. So this doesn't really change that much. All right. So that is it for the bathroom. So now we are going to come to my favorite part of this place, the kitchen. So this is my kitchen. Now this is actually the first time I've ever had a kitchen in any of the places I have ever stayed at on campus. It's really nice. I got a refrigerator, got an oven. I, I know how to cook, but not very well. And we're doing a mandatory two week quarantine. And I don't know how it would work if I accidentally set the building on fire and if we would be allowed to evacuate because of the whole COVID thing. So I'm not even gonna try with this because I'm sure I'll accidentally like the building on fire, which we don't really want. When it comes to the refrigerator, this thing is really stocked. As you can see, I have a lot of stuff here. Majority of this was provided by the school, but there was also other stuff that I brought as well. As you can see, we have an absurd amount of milk. I don't think I've drank this stuff since I was nine years old, so that's pretty cool. I got some eggs too, and if you've never had eggs, they smell terrible, but they're actually pretty good. But I got a bunch of other stuff here. Probably my favorite part are the cheese sticks, which are in the way back. And then if you come up here, we have the freezer. Now these are the frozen 
afternoon meals that my school has provided. These are supposed to last us like two weeks, but this could probably last me a few months. They also gave me candy too, which was pretty awesome. This is my whole kitchen space. I wash the dishes and everything. I know, really cool. And this is my microwave, which I've had for a few years and it never lets me down. Now up here, we have like an insane amount of food. Most of this, again, was provided by my school. Got some noodles, cereal, uh, Campbell's chicken soup, which I haven't had since I was 10, so I'm really looking forward to trying that out again. And if you thought it was over, it's not. I also have pretzels, Nutrigrain bars, cookies, and Lay's. All of this here was provided by the school. Do I have anything? Yeah, I didn't put anything up here, I don't think. I had someone ask me the other day what this was, and um, I actually don't know. Um, and here we got some utensils, and over here we got like applesauce and, and like muffins and stuff like that. Now over here we have a table. This is kind of my workspace. I don't like using the desks that the school provides because I always thought those were way too small anyway. I have my whole setup here, and just in case I ever forget that this is my MacBook, it's kindly labeled here, which is really convenient. I got this mouse pad for Christmas. It's me and my sister at like a day out with Thomas, which is basically like this Thomas the Tank Engine event. As you can see, I was really happy back then. I don't really know what happened. Now over here, as you can see, I put a notebook because this thing is wobbly and, and very unstable. So I put a notebook here to kind of even it out. So as you can see here, we have like all this desk space, which I don't really know what to do with. I would have cleaned it up for you, but I don't plan on ever actually cleaning this or really doing much with this part of the room. And here's where I keep all my clothes. I brought a lot less than, than I probably should have. Because of the whole COVID thing, I was really paranoid that I would bring way too much so I, I probably packed a lot less than I should have. As you can see I'm already running low on shirts and my laundry bag is nearly filled all the way up and I've only been here for a few days but I did bring an absurd amount of pants which I probably don't even need this much just because like I'm not gonna go outside that much anyway so I can just wear like shorts all the time. Now if I were to have a roommate this is where they would have slept. Basically right now I'm using it as a charging station but maybe down the line once it's safe to have visitors maybe my like girlfriend friend can sleep here or whatever. Now over here we have the filming station. This is where I shoot my videos. I do this mainly because I have some good natural lighting coming from over here. So this is where I plan to do all my videos. I filmed a video a couple days ago and what I noticed is when I'm filming uh, like people from the other uh, rooms are like staring at me like they're looking directly at me. Like there was someone moving in and I remember he was just staring at me as I was filming. So that's that's pretty cool. And uh, over here uh, we have have my bed which I made for this video I know it looks really great and I have my desk I wasn't able to bring as many decorations as I usually bring so these were kind of like my favorites that that made the cut but yeah that's my apartment so um to all of you people asking for an apartment tour I hope you enjoyed this if you enjoyed today's video make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you have not already also leave a comment let me know what you thought of today's video what do you think do you think I have a nice apartment this place is like actually really big like I'm I'm very lucky that that, that, that I got this like I really lucked out and also we have two members of the Eric Moran films membership program now We have Neem and Rocky. Thank you so much both of you I really appreciate your support if you're interested in becoming a member There's a link to join down below and there also should be a join button if you're viewing this on your computer So if you're interested in learning more about the membership program, I highly recommend you check that out But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you next time TNT, we blowing up. Level up, game never stops. Showing love. Tell the haters, keep, keep, keep it real. My time is on.